proceed with the dedication ceremony of the TL76 room in honor of Sir William Arthur Lewis. In first place, extend a warm welcome to Alba Baptiste, St. Lucia Minister of External Affairs, International Trade and Civil Aviation. On behalf of the Organization of American States, I also wish to congratulate the government and people of St. Lucia on the 37th anniversary of the country's independence. So today, we at the OAS honor and recognize this distinguished economist through the naming of this room in which we stand as the Sir Arthur Lewis Room. It is a well-deserved recognition. I am very proud to do so in the presence of Minister Baptiste and families and friends from the Caribbean. May Sir Arthur continue to be an inspiration for all of us working in the development field. Thank you very much. In keeping of my country's anniversary's theme, the journey continues, it gives me great pleasure to be here to welcome you to this ceremony as we acknowledge and memorialize the contribution of Sir William Arthur Lewis, 25 years after his passing. This journey to today has been a long, nostalgic, and fruitful one. As the permanent representative of St. Lucia, my hope is that the legacy of Sir Arthur Lewis will serve as an inspiration and sense of pride, not only to St. Lucians and the Caribbean, but to the entire hemisphere. 1979 marked two monumental developments in our country's history. The year that we broke free from the shackles of colonialism and attained independence. And the year that Sir Arthur Lewis was granted the Nobel Prize in economics. This is undoubtedly a long gestation period, given that the resolution CPRES 940-1660-08 of the Permanent Council on August 29 recalled the exemplary life and distinguished career of Sir Arthur Lewis, St. Lucian economist and intellectual, his valuable contribution as Chancellor of the University of the West Indies and first president of the Caribbean Development Bank, Nobel Prize winner in economics, and the Caribbean's first Nobel laureate, distinguished author, diplomat, and activist for Caribbean Federation and Regional Development, and resolve that this very room be dedicated in his honor. Though long deferred, we nevertheless take solace that on this day, as we celebrate 37 years of independence, we seize this opportunity to honor one of the greatest citizens, not only in our country, but of the Caribbean, by ultimately bestowing his name to room TL76. We in St. Lucia are honored by the naming of this room in honor of Sir Arthur Lewis as a serious symbolic initiative demonstrating a practical recognition of the role that we in St. Lucia and in the wider Caribbean community can play in advancing the role of this organization of American states as an instrument of peace, stability, and meaningful cooperation among countries of diverse sizes and statuses. Like our Latin American brothers and sisters would say, Hasta la victoria siempre, venceremos, la lucha continua. Thank you very much. <clears throat>